Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So I'd plan on going to all seven continents by visiting Cape Town one day, but um, here I am. So my mom and I arrived in Cairo super early in the morning and met up with our tour guide who was going to show us around the pyramids, the Egyptian museum, and a couple other cool spots for that day. We only planned on being there for one day, which I know, I know, is not enough to do the whole country of Egypt justice, obviously, but it was a super last minute decision that my mom and I made to even go there, so we figured we would see the highlights. The highway was a bit chaotic to say the least, but it was a fun way to be welcomed to my seventh continent. At this point, it was about 7 a.m., so before heading to the pyramids, we stopped for a much-needed Turkish coffee for a little pick-me-up, and then we were on our way. Seeing the pyramids in the distance for the first time was just like my breath was taken away. You know when you see something in pictures a million times and then you see it in real life and it's like, yeah, that's how it felt. So it was absolutely insane. Do you ever stop not, do you ever not just, I mean, do you, I guess after a while you just take that for granted that that's your skyline. Are you used to it? <laughs> All of the historic attractions and ancient artifacts that I've seen in my day, I would say this was the first one where you could really go all the way up to it and feel the original stones, which I just think made it really special. That's big. That was big. It also really didn't feel overly touristy. Of course, there were a lot of people there, but the area around the pyramids that you can explore is just so vast. It never at any point felt like a pure tourist trap the way that some other attractions do. And then of course, my mom and I were like, what better mode of transportation to walk around and see the pyramids more than via camel? Got a dopamine rush, got a majorly crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Okay, so after brushing up on my history once again for this video, the three main pyramids of Giza were built from roughly 2550 to 2490 BC during Egypt's Old Kingdom era. That is literally 4,500 years ago. It's insane for me to fathom how old these structures actually are. And what's even crazier to me is that we still don't totally know how they were built. Of course, there are theories, but I didn't realize until I was there and you know listening and learning about them that it's really still unknown. I have to admit, most of my ancient Egyptian knowledge before this trip came from the 1999 cinematic masterpiece, The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. So I learned a lot on this trip. Oh my Mine's name is Cappuccino. <laughs> and my mom's is Pepsi. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor. I would say this was a highlight for us. Our camels, cappuccino, and Pepsi were just a, a total pleasure. And if they don't make you want to give this video a thumbs up, then I don't know what will. Our tour guide was also so fun and a great videographer, which was great for me. <laughs> yes, this is Giza. Giza city. Do you see the Sphinx? Here. Last permit. This one pine tree for queens. Cappuccino and I are ready so I see that. And I would highly recommend the camel ride if you go to see the pyramids. Although I would recommend going in like October, November when the weather is a little more mild. It was a whopping 105 degrees Fahrenheit when we were there. Also, maybe a little bit of a questionable decision to wear all black in the desert, but it's the only thing I packed. I didn't know I was gonna be there, so had to run with it. And you don't pass up a camel ride around the pyramids, even if you're wearing all black and it's 105 degrees, you know? You just don't. <laughs> After walking around the three main pyramids, we got a look through some of the tombs that have original hieroglyphics and some really cool carvings of pharaohs. I wish that I retained a fraction of what our tour guide knew about every square inch of this place. It was so impressive how knowledgeable he was on all of the little historic details. After we disembarked our camel friends, we walked over to the Sphinx.
Ready for your mind to be blown again? All right, here we go. So for many years, archeologists thought that the Sphinx was built around the same time as the Great Pyramid, so about 4,500 years ago. But some more recent studies suggest that the Sphinx was actually built as early as 7,000 BC. That is over 9,000 years ago. That's the thing though, when you're dealing with dates like this, you can't really fathom how long ago that was and how this was even possible. But another cool thing about the Sphinx was that it was covered in sand up to its shoulder height just about until the early 1800s. Then we stopped for lunch with what I would say was a pretty decent view. And we pulled over to see a closer look of the Nile River before heading to the Egyptian Museum. Just stopped on the highway to see the Nile. How cool! We're back in Cairo. We were in Giza before to see the pyramids, of course. How cool is this? Do -do -do -do. The Egyptian Museum, obviously very cool. They're actually in the process of building a brand new one that's even closer to the pyramids versus the one that we went to right now is in Cairo itself, not in Giza. I thought that the coolest thing in this museum was that there's an actual mummy. There's actually two of them and that, that blew my mind a little bit. I've never seen one in real life. <laughs> Overall, very short trip, obviously, but as you can see, it was quite memorable. I mean, at some points, my mom and I were like, what if we told ourselves a week ago that we would be in front of the pyramids right now? Like, we just had no idea. And again, would recommend going October, November when it's not boiling, <laughs> but it was an amazing time. So like and subscribe for free so you can see where we went next. And until next time, turtle out. I swear, I do not time that. That, and it only goes off every hour and a half. So the fact that I get it every single time. I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing over there, Pepsi?